God damn, Jimmy. This some serious gourmet shit. Having worked as a barista throughout university and during my early years building up my business, I was deeply immersed in coffee culture. And I have finally stepped up to the challenge of putting together an affordable, repeatable, reliable, quality home espresso setup. My name is Nicholas De Lorenzo, and I'm a mastering engineer and studio owner based in Melbourne, Australia. In this video, I'll be going through the products and workflow I use to create great tasting espresso, all within a 30 centimeter by 45 centimeter footprint on my kitchen bench. First, let's start with the heartbeat of this setup, a Gadget Classic Pro. This unit measures 23 by 24 centimeters on the bench top, has a full size 58 millimeter porta filter, 2.1 liter water tank, three way solenoid valve, and ships with 15 bars of pressure. No bells and whistles, just a rock hard and sturdy bare bones coffee machine that won't break the bank. Second to the heartbeat of this setup is probably the most important key to making great espresso, a quality grinder. The Eureka Manwale, which comes in this sleek looking matte black. It features stepless micrometric grind adjustment and an ACE system to prevent anti-clumping and electrostaticity, which is a common problem found in entry-level grinders. Accompanying these choices for machines, this setup features an 18 gram VST precision filter basket, a dosing scale, which scales to the 10th of a gram, a flat tamping mat, a group head cleaning brush, a tamper, and a blind filter for back flushing. The reality is, the first few weeks of making espresso with this machine were horrible. The 15 bars of high pressure gave me a flow rate even on the finest of coffee settings was far too much and causing what my dad would call veleno, which means poison in Italian. Modding the OPV down to 9 bars is a must and truly allows for a more forgiving experience with this machine. Second to this was the basket in the portafilter which ships with the Gadja. The machining of it wasn't the greatest of quality. I found the taper at the bottom half of the coffee bed forced greater pressure to the outside of the coffee puck and I'd find evidence of clear channeling around the sides leading to uneven extractions. So I opted to swap this out for an 18 gram VST precision filter basket for two reasons. The 14.5 to 16.5 gram doses for double shots, which the stock basket is rated for, was making me move the grind setting down too fine, and with the extra surface area a finer grind setting gave, there was very little room for forgiveness on a machine where the temperature serves between 85 to 100 degrees Celsius. 18 gram doses allow me to grind slightly coarser, which produces less total surface area, less risk of channeling under pressure, and is slightly more forgiving of the moving temperature in the Gudger Classic. So how to prepare great espresso from home without the advantageous features of entry-level consumer machines or more expensive prosumer machines? Firstly, it's important to single dose each and every shot you prepare. Here's the recipe I've used on the Gadget Classic Pro for a double shot of espresso. 18 grams of coffee in, 36 grams of coffee out in 25 seconds. I weigh the coffee beans before grinding and after they're ground. I want to ensure no extra grind has made it out of the chamber or there's no more beans stuck inside the chamber of the grinder. I recommend scales that measure to a tenth of a gram. At 18 grams of coffee, a tenth of a gram in variance is acceptable. Next, I groom my basket, ensuring an even distribution, tamp on the rubber mat, which is critical to avoid damaging the, this laminate bench top, then seat the group head in the machine. When it comes to brewing, I use the poor man's pre-infusion, as first shown by Lance Hendrick on his channel. I open the steam wand fully, which directs the water flow from the group head to the steam wand. Start the pump to the group head, then after five seconds, and some pre-wetting to the coffee bed, close the steam wand to begin the extraction. And on each Friday, I'll pull off the shower screen to clean, brush, and wipe the gasket and lugs clean, and also clean up the whole machine thoroughly. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the section below. I'll do my best to answer them, and there'll be links to all the items listed here in the description below. Until next time, take care.